second station. Jesus betrayed by Judas and arrested. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Chapter 14, verses 43 to 46. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying that, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. Jesus betrayed by Judas and arrested. The one I will kiss. Why a kiss? It seems a very odd way to betray someone. Couldn't Judas simply have pointed at Jesus? Kissing is what a parent offers a child, what a lover offers to their beloved. It's the deepest sign of human affection. Yet here it is disfigured and distorted. The kiss of love becomes the sign of betrayal as Judas kisses Jesus to his death. Why? Because the people who betray us are usually the people who love us. Of all the difficult pastoral situations that priests and pastors have to handle, the most distressing usually involve betrayal. A wife betrayed by an adulterous husband. A child betrayed by an abusive parent. A teenager betrayed and abandoned by friends. One reason such situations are so difficult is that they demonstrate to us the innate fragility of all human relationships. We desperately need the people in our lives. We cannot be ourselves without their love, their presence and their support. Yet we know that human affection is fickle and so the loneliness we fear is an ever-present danger. Here, the man whose relationship with Jesus is so intimate that he can kiss him, he uses that gesture of love to give him away to men who will crucify him. Yet, as Jesus suffers the fragility of one relationship, so he shows us the utter reliability of another. Jesus has placed his life into the hands of his heavenly Father. A relationship with the God of perfect love is one that can never suffer betrayal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you were betrayed by the kiss of a friend. Be with those who are betrayed and slandered and falsely accused. You knew the experience of having your love thrown back in your face for mere silver. Be with the families which are torn apart by mistrust and temptation. To you, Jesus, who offered your face to your betrayer, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us.